So for today's nails, I'm gonna be doing some My Little Pony nails. I have been seeing all of these My Little Pony nails and they just look so cute. One of my favorites though was from Babe Nails. I really like how she did this with the rainbow and the two little ponies. And then on the thumb, she has the logo. I haven't decided if I'm going to attempt to do the logo or not. Logos are really hard for me. <laughs> but yeah, I want to do something like this, but I'm only going to do one pony and it's going to be in like 3D and it's going to be fun. So let's get to it. All right, so for my tips, I want to use these a uh, prey. These are the collaboration with Sean Legend um, and these are the neutrals. I think these would be a nice base. Cause they're already like, you know, the My Little Pony colors. So I'm gonna go through all these and pick out my sizes. And I just love the shape of these. Like these are really shaped nicely. And honestly, you can just put these on and just wear them as is. Like these are really nice. So y'all know me, I have to be able to take these off. So I'm gonna be using my peel off base coat. This is the Jello Jello. I've been just pumping out these videos. I know y'all been noticing. A lot of people been, you know, asking me to try to do more videos and I'm trying, it's hard though. <laughs> but anyway, let me just go ahead and put this peel off base coat on. So I've been trying it a different way this time. Before I would put a regular base coat on and then this, and that worked as well. But last time I just went right in with the Jello Jello and just to see if it can work on its own. It did work. I find that when I do put on the one kill um, gel remover, this stuff, I have to just wait. Like you gotta wait like five minutes for the peel off base coat to melt. And then after that, you'll be able to peel it off. So I'm just gonna continue putting this on. I think the tugging and the pulling was probably just me not waiting long enough <laughs> for the peel off base coat to kind of dissolve. Cause that's the main thing that you're waiting on. Um, so you put it on and then you try to, I know it sounds bad, but you gotta like pry a little corner up and then just flood your nail with this stuff. And then it finally lets go. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. All right, so I got the tips on these stands. Um, I guess I could have waited to put on the peel off base coat, but it's cool. As y'all saw last time, it made it a lot easier to paint and do all the crazy stuff. And then I can put it on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and buff these just so the gel polish can have something to stick to. Next, I'm gonna go in with some base coat. Even though these are nail tips, um, you know, it still makes the gel polish application smoother. So yeah, we're just gonna paint. Nice little even base coat. I know if some of you wondering why I paint like this instead of down <laughs> like that. That's because since I've taught myself how to do my nails, this is how I'm able to do it. So it's more comfortable for me, but you know, it doesn't matter how you do anything as long as it gets done, right? All right, so for the pinky, I think I wanna do like, I don't know, let me just see. <laughs> I want it to be kind of abstract but not so not so pigmented i want it to be a little a little airy so let's see if we can do something like that just to add a little color all right quickly flash cure that and i'm just gonna use a different sponge for each color oh uh, let's go in with some blue i actually like this blue better more the color I'm going for. So just... Okay. It's, you know, it's giving what I wanted it to give. This one's gonna be like my unicorn nail. I wanna do like some 3D gel and make some unicorn swirls. So this is just kind of the background color. It kind of gives it like an airbrush effect without me having to learn how to use an airbrush machine. <laughs> Let's go in with a little bit of this darker, dark pink lavender. <laughs> I don't know. But just very light. Yeah, that is what I'm looking for. A airbrush look. And let's go in with some yellow. 
you know, just play around with the colors until it's to your liking. All right, so next, I think I wanna add some glitter. I got these Myth Miller ones. Y'all remember these? And I think I just wanna put, oh, so pretty. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna, I don't know which one I'm gonna use. I'm probably gonna use both of them and just see how I want to do it. Let's take a little bit. Oh yeah, this one is probably, let me see what this one looks like. Okay. Yeah, probably might just do a mixture of both of them. My studio lights aren't doing it justice. <laughs> But it's cute. I like this one because it, it's kind of going with the whole My Little Pony theme. Ooh, very unicorny. Okay, so I'm just placing like the big ones, the big glitter pieces, kind of where I want them to be. And I don't need much. I just want a nice little background. Ooh, that is really pretty. Okay, let's go ahead and cure that. All right, and for this nail, I think I want to do like the pink ombre at the bottom. So we just gonna feather this up. It doesn't have to be too perfect because it's gonna be covered up anyway. But I just want a nice blend. So easy. And we just go in at the bottom. I want that to be, you know, a little darker. Let me cure this first layer. All right, so we're just gonna go in with another layer. Want it to be, you know, a nice little ombre. It's actually looking really good. So these sponges are from, I got them from Dillable. They're like, uh, I showed them before in my Korean nail supply haul. They're not like your regular ones. These are different and you get that smooth ombre. All right, so I have all of the, you know, the base of all the nails that I wanna do. So I'm gonna go in with the matte top coat. I'm hoping that when I put the clear gel to make the unicorn swirls, that it kind of gives a, a different effect. I don't know, we'll see. But anyway, let's go ahead and put the matte on. And this is just gonna seal everything in as well. These actually look really good matte. That is really cute. Oh, I'm hoping this works out. <laughs> So I have the Balingi gel. This is a no wipe gel, so shouldn't have to do anything else afterwards. Want it to be a little thick. So <laughs> blow to my brush up. Mm, I wonder how can I do this? Let's see. Uh, no, that ain't it. <laughs> I may have to use just a slightly <laughs> thinner gel. I don't know, we'll see. I want the base of it to be thicker, to be like rounded. It's not really giving what I want it to give. Let me find a different gel. I need, I probably need something just a tad bit thinner. Let's go with the Red Iguana Clear Builder. Take two. <laughs> All right. I want it to be a little exaggerated. Something like that. Let's cure that and see what it looks like. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna follow the pattern and make some unicorn swirls. I keep saying swirls, but y'all know what I mean. Ooh, that's looking good. You know what? I think I'm gonna go over each line too to make it like more thick and exaggerated. So we just gonna do it like that. Ooh, okay, that's exactly what I'm going for. And then what I've been doing is using my Patty Joe brush to kind of clean up the line. All right, so this is how the pinky turned out and I'm currently working on the thumb. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I was gonna try to do the logo, but mm -mm. <laughs> it ain't gonna turn out good. So we just gonna do the unicorn on the thumb as well. Having a thinner gel and then also kind of working in layers to get it the thickness that I want has been helping. 
All right, so the unicorn swirls are done. Now, since I did use a gel that's builder gel, it has a tacky layer and we're gonna coat the unicorn swirls with top coat just so it won't be sticky. Um, and I'm just trying to be really careful to not get it on the matte part of the nail. That's why I was trying to do it with the bling gel, but it was a little too thick. So I just really love the matte in between the shiny unicorn <laughs> lines. <laughs> so I really liked how the glitter looked on the nails. So I wanna add some more. I wanna add that to all the nails actually. I think that looked really cute. And it's very on par with the My Little Pony aesthetic. And I think I'm gonna do the matte glitter on this one. It looks really cute matte. All right, so this is what it looks like matte. Like, isn't that just really cute? I do want to do like the My Pony Rainbow across these. Let me make sure they in order. <laughs> and then the My Pony 3D My Pony is going to go on the middle finger. All right. So I have my color palette right here of the colors I used previously. And I'm just going to load this up. Uh, yeah, let's see how we do. Okay, I'm just gonna like sketch it out at first and then, uh, and then we'll like make it better. I just wanna make sure that it all kind of connects. You know, so like when I hold my hand out like this, it's like a whole scene. I like when it's like that. The middle one, you're not gonna be able to see all that well, but you know, I still want it to be good. Okay, <laughs> y'all see what I'm trying to do here. Oh, these are gonna be cute. Okay, <laughs> we don't have to move y'all out the way. Okay, so I can really get to these. I uh, don't want the the line to be too thick. Just a little. Just a little width to it. Oh yeah. All right, and the same for over here. To pick you up. Okay. All right, so we got the pink cured and I'm just gonna go in with this orange. I'm just gonna follow this line. Try to make it the same width as the first line. All right, just a quick check in. I'm finishing up the last color of the rainbow. And it's just been a lot faster doing it off camera, so, you know, it's not much to see here. Making sure to keep my lines as crisp as possible. I'm not sure if y'all can hear Maya, but. So I'm gonna go in with a matte top coat just to kind of blend everything together. And then I want to add some clouds as well. I've been studying all of the nail art girlies and they be putting a matte top coat when they're done with like the layers and stuff. So it all can look like one. I'm trying to get better here. All right, so this is what they're looking like. You know what? I think I may keep this a matte nail design. It's looking real good. Okay, so next, I think I need a dotting tool. Okay, so I want to add some clouds. I'm gonna do something like, mm, mm, like that. And then I'm gonna take this little teeny tiny blending brush. Okay, that's gonna be very abstract. <laughs> and then we're just gonna try to blend it out. Okay, I don't like how that look. <laughs> All right, we try again. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Mm. 
Okay, I'm liking that a whole lot better. All right, and then I'm going to take this little brush and kind of, I don't need a flat brush. Okay, we're going to take this little flat brush and then kind of just blend out the bottom. No! Sometimes it takes me a few times, y'all. Bear with me. I think I'm probably just going to keep the tiny little dots. I like the way that looked. Yeah, I'm going to just keep it like that. I'm not going to blend the bottom out. Okay. And we care. All right. So here are all the nails done. Oh, super cute. And pink gloves are on. So y'all know it is 3D clay time. So I picked up some more clay from Amazon. I I'm just trying out all the brands and seeing what I like the best. I have like a bunch of My Little Pony reference pictures. And I want to try to do this one. I think it's cute. I would like to get the whole body, but small. So let's see if I can do it. We're going to work on you and taking, I'm trying to work with smaller amounts so I can get a smaller, <laughs> a smaller, you know, whatever I'm doing. Okay. So let's start with the head first. All right. So, I need to kind of make the shape here. I think I can do this. I know I can do this. <laughs> so, I'm just kind of doing the basic shape that I'm seeing. Okay, I'm starting to look <laughs> like a horse. So, I used to love My Little Pony, okay? I feel like I'm going through my toy box with doing all of these like Care Bears and My Little Pony. I got some more stuff coming too. But yes, this is just, it's been so nostalgic. So I really want to get good with this clay, right? And y'all know the Care Bear nail design was a recreation from Alicia the Nail Doctor. And so when she saw it, she was like, oh my God, you did such a good job. And we were talking in the DMs and she was giving me tips on how to like make it better, more details and stuff. So I'm serious, okay? I really want to get good with this. Okay, I know that doesn't look like much right now, but we're getting there. All right, so I got another little dot, and we're going to try to make the ear. See if I can kind of pinch it a little bit. <laughs> Trying to make it ear shape. Okay, I can see it coming along. And then we're just going to smooth this out. All right, so I'm going to take another small little dollop. I'm going to do probably half of that. Okay, and I want to add the nose so, or the snout. <laughs> and I'm just going to kind of smooth this too. All right, so now we're gonna work on the body. And I haven't cured yet, cause I want, you know, we're gonna try to see how far I can go without having a cure. Okay, just gonna follow the shape. And trying to flatten it out a bit so it's not so thick. All right, and I'm just going to smooth this out. As you can see, I'm kind of alternating the tools that I use, depending on, you know, what I'm doing. So this large area, I'm going to use the Patty Gel brush to kind of smooth it out. And then I can go back in with the detailer brush to really smooth it out. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be smaller and wearable, I think. All right, this is what I have so far. So now I'm gonna, mm, I don't know, <laughs> try to go in with this arm or leg. <laughs> okay, we're gonna see how this turns out.
Mm, just a little too much. Okay, so this one is going to go something like that. Okay, I can work with this. <laughs> All right, so a quick little check in. This is what I have so far. We got the front legs on and now we're gonna work on the back legs. So as you guys can see, this looks a lot better <laughs> than the Care Bears. So yeah, Alicia's tips have definitely helped me. So we're gonna put this leg on. You do gotta kind of play around a lot with it though. All right, so we got the body. I think I like the way it is. I think. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna continue to like smooth out some areas. Uh, but for the most part, I'm liking it. All right, so I'm I'm gonna smooth this out and then I'm gonna cure this and then we'll add the mane. All right body is cured so I'm glad I do have various like clays because sometimes the colors are just not right and like they're all different colors so this is the closest like pink that is close to the picture <laughs> I don't really I don't feel like mixing and doing all that like so we're just gonna go with this hot pink all right so I'm gonna grab a little bit of this I'm gonna like roll it into a log and then it's gonna like <laughs> put it on here like this oh okay that's gonna work as soon as I <laughs> can get it and we're just gonna start off with like the little bang okay and Oh, we gotta cover. <laughs> we gotta cover the little square forehead a little bit. Okay, so, ooh, perfect. So I'm just gonna position this the way that I want using the various tools at my disposal. <laughs> so yeah, here we go. Ah, oh, that is gonna be really perfect. <laughs> yes so the white clay that I use from Amazon it's a lot drier so it didn't move a lot the sissy clay depending on the colors it's gonna move so I'm just going to do each little detail and then I'm gonna cure but oh my god the tip that has saved the day thank you so much Alicia you've been so much help to me but she said, girl, use a tiny detail brush to smooth it out. And that has been helping wonders. Okay, I like that placement. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. All right, so next we're just gonna continue to work on the hair. Or the, you know, <laughs> the mane. All right, she coming along. I'm just gonna place another piece of hair right there and use my silicone tool to push it in the background. Oh, perfect. <laughs> All right, and then just play with this until it becomes something. Okay, but y'all can see that it's looking like a My Little Pony, okay? But yes, man, I'm telling y'all. <laughs> Get you a small little detail brush like this. If you got like a acrylic 3D brush, you know, any small brush, well, that's shaped like this. But you're able to <laughs> look at the curl. Oh my goodness. This is all I wanted was just the detail. I'm so happy. <laughs> and now we're gonna do the back which is just pretty much just one piece. So I'm gonna just stick that on there like so. And then 
just kind of use my silicone tools to really form it like I need it to be. All right, so this is what I have. I don't really have enough room to put the tail, so we're just gonna skip that. <laughs> okay, so next I'm gonna do some shading. Just adding some detail. Just, you know, a little something. All right, shading is done. And then we're just gonna add the little details inside the ear and the little snout, nose. And then for the news. All right, and now we're gonna try to do the details for the eyes and the mouth. messing up already <sighs> okay let's see if I can do the longer brush okay not too bad I guess and then we just need to add like a little smile oh okay <laughs> so hard to do okay <laughs> let me try to fix this close to me I'm just gonna leave that like that so like okay now she just needs some some eyelashes Okay, I don't think I cured this, did I? Okay, good. The smile is just a little too thick. I'm gonna see if I can thin that out a little bit. All right, I was able to make the little smile thinner off camera, so here we go. Okay, so let me go ahead and cure this because this is the best that it's gonna get. <laughs> and then I'm gonna add the tiniest little I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> All right, so next I'm just adding the little hearts on the bum. And I'm just gonna go over the white a little bit because dust and hair is in here. So we just want to refine it a little bit, make the white a little brighter. All right, and now we can top coat. All right, so here is the finished look. <laughs> Aren't these just the cutest? Oh my God, I really like chalked myself on this one <laughs> because y'all know how I'll be struggling with like the line work and the 3D animals. <laughs> but this one turned out really cute. Like, come on, let's look at these curls on the pony and the little hearts on the booty. This looks so good. Oh, I am, I am extremely happy about how these turned out. So would you try these My Little Pony Nails? I think you should because they are cute. <laughs> hey there, I got something to show you. Finished. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. All right, all right. All right. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. Don't look, look a little, what's this, My Little Pony? Yes. With a lace front. <laughs> you know, I had to, I had to curl it. Look like Instagram baddies. <laughs> <laughs> she got the smooth, what a baby hair. <laughs> oh, that's dope though. Thank you. Okay, and that's flat. I know. Oh, what's this, a unicorn? Mm hmm Man, you, okay. You know, look at you, you doubling know. up. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's dope. Did you draw all that? Yes. These little ass crap. I mean, these little little clowns. <laughs> <laughs> I'm foul mouth, y'all. <laughs> oh, I like these. Thank you. That's dope. These are some of my favorites. Yeah. I'm very proud of this pony. Yeah, that looks good. That's better than them bears. <laughs> you definitely you improve with the mutt bears. <laughs> How dare you? What? What? Oh. 
she. She did good again, right? I ain't the only one that thinks so. Yay. <laughs> All right, yeah. Now hit the like button. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if you want to see me do more nail designs, check out these videos right here, and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.